Hi there, and welcome to my channel if you're new, and welcome back if you're back. Um, my name is Rabbit, and my pronouns are they, them, and I'm here kind of with my cats, but neither of them really want to join me in the frame right now, unless maybe this. Yeah. Hi again. Um, but, um, sorry if I look kind of messy. I worked today, and um, then I went to the thrift store. Now my cats are fighting over treats. So, sorry if I'm a little bit disheveled and a little bit scatterbrained. I was at work today and then I went to the thrift store because basically yesterday um, I was lying in bed and I couldn't sleep as happens very often with me. And I was thinking about my like kind of punk rock jacket, my battle vest, battle jacket, whatever you want to call it. Um, my jacket that I've DIY'd um, and messed up a lot and I've had this one since I was like 16 or so and I was thinking to myself about like why I never wear it and I realized it's because it's green and lately just um, for the last couple years now just like green hasn't been calling to me as much and I've been really more into going back to like when I was like 13 and 14 and getting into like the goth subculture versus like more hippie um, which is kind of what this felt a little bit more like so um, I decided that I wanted to get a leather jacket like a vegan leather um, jacket um, so that I could modify it and make a video to show you guys and also to finally have a freaking leather jacket um, because I had like a customized denim one when I was like 13 14 uh, but I got rid of it and I got rid of so many of my punk rock clothes which is so sad so while I was at the thrift store I kind of was thinking to myself like hey I haven't like gone clothes shopping since pandemic started so um, I decided to just like stick around um, I've had my shots so we're all good and um, for the first time I was like okay I can finally like go thrift shopping so I had a little bit of a thrift haul and it was kind of unexpected and unplanned but kind of inspired by the fact that I'm gonna um, customize this jacket so I'll show it to you guys and I'll show you the other stuff and I've just been like so excited to customize all of it or not all of it but lots of it that um, I've decided to just kind of film this video tonight and try to um, insert pictures um, if I end up modifying any of this stuff soon um, to show you guys but um, this this jacket video will definitely be happening and I'm super excited so um, I got everything from the thrift store um, I do get a lot of comments that are like oh alt fashion seems so expensive and um, I'm gonna try to mention the prices that I got these things for because um, alt fashion doesn't have to be um, expensive in fact like lots of these subcultures were born out of poverty and like a necessity to DIY clothes and like to not um, by my mass produced things like anti-capitalist ideals so um, it's really important if you can to like um, reuse clothes um, thrift stores are an awesome option um, charity shops op shops um, flea markets because lots of times I get comments that say you don't have thrift stores in your area but maybe you have something comparable like one of those things um, also like boot sales or garage sales are a great place to look um, estate sale estate sales um, which we call it eBay Kijiji, uh, Vinted, Depop, whatever your version of like thrift stores are, I promise there's like lots of really cool affordable stuff on there. And um, if it's not cool yet, you can always think about like how you can modify it to be more cool. So um, I feel like I've rambled on long enough and I'll get into the haul of what I got today at the thrift store. Um, so the first thing is this leather jacket. Um, I think it's like vegan leather. It's, it was $14.49 um, Canadian dollars. It's originally from Old Navy, but it looks like this right now. And I'm really excited to put like spider webs on it, um, a bunch of studs and spikes, um, handmade patches that I'm gonna paint and show you guys how to make. Um, just excited to like add weird different things to it and show y'all the process. So that's this jacket. Um, I got some pantyhose for $1.99. Um, it's white and I'm actually going to be using it in the jacket custom so um, watch out for that in the future if you're interested. Um, this is really beautiful. It was $1.99, the thingy just fell off, um, but it's this really awesome kind of silky black sparkly like lace I'm gonna wear it as like a shawl kind of thing, um, or maybe like a fancy scarf, um, if I'm really feeling that that day. But um, I've just, oh, I feel like when I was younger, like 13, 14, I've mentioned this before, but um, the, 
<laughs> this website called the ultimate goth blog by this girl named Amy that's since been deactivated but I've been reading it on a web archive like kind of very religiously over the past couple days sorry um, interruption but um, as I was mentioning um, this blog that I used to read when I was younger and and it's just been making me feel really nostalgic um, for basically the style that I wanted to dress when I was 13 14 but couldn't because of like my parents and not having money and not like knowing how to do it um, and just like feeling too scared to like ask my parents to dress how I wanted and stuff so I feel like I've just been like finally having the confidence and stuff to and like the inspiration to dress like cool again because for the whole pandemic I was just like living in pajama pants for the most part and um, feeling pretty uninspired with makeup just like lots of days going barefaced and stuff which is fine but I've just been really wanting to get back into like aesthetics again and um, reading this blog has just been like so amazing for me and I think that my favorite thing about it is that all the pictures on the blog are like from a like little digital camera with like flash on and lots of them um, from like a long time ago. So it's not these like perfectly Instagram model filters, like everything airbrushed, like really, really like perfect looking. It, it just looks like a real person and it feels so much more achievable than um, lots of the styles that um, sometimes are really popular on social media today which are still beautiful but lots of times just like feel really unachievable so it's just been like such an inspiration for me going back and just seeing like I don't know kind of just like real people looking kind of like a spooky goth kid from the early 2000s like it's my favorite thing and it just like makes me really really happy and it makes me just so nostalgic for like the vampire aesthetic and the really like kind of romantic thing so um, this long story short is that I got <clears throat> this really cool sparkly lacy florally sparkly thing and um, I'm super excited about it next ooh, <laughs> okay I have a collection of cat themed like enamel pins and brooches and stuff and whenever I find one that's just like a weird pin or like kind of a kooky one with like cats on it I love to get it um, so another very beautiful addition to the collection this is this one was five dollars which is usually a lot more than I spend on these ones but it says I've invited a few friends over to dinner and it has a bunch of really adorable cats on it and I'm super super stoked on this it will be a beautiful collection to the cat jacket um, another piece of jewelry this was a dollar ninety nine and it's just like a really cool um, spiky bracelet you know classic can't ever have enough of these so adding it to the collection um, this was three dollars it's an enamel or not an enamel Pin. It's like, I think you call this a brooch, like the one where it has a needle on it, but it has a deer and a pickaxe and I'm guessing the name of some place in Sweden because um, it has also one of those like white flowers, what are those called? Elderweiss? Maybe? Elderweiss? Um, Edelweiss. I don't know. Either way, one of those. I just got it because I really really like the deer on it. I think it's super beautiful and it might end up on a doll at some point in in different pieces but we'll see and oh this is just like a random little belt that I got it was two dollars but I got it for the fact that it is leather material or leathery material that I can use to add straps to my jacket that I will be customizing um, soon then okay I've never had corduroy skirt or corduroy pants but um, it's always intrigued me and I've always thought it was really cool and um, on the blog that I was like um, looking at the other day I just was like seeing um, like basically skirts that were like black skirts with t-shirt patches on them and stuff and I was just like frick patch skirts are so cool I forgot how pa how cool patch skirts are um, so this one was seven dollars and it has buttons on it and soon it will also have denim patches on it that will be hand painted by me and um, I'm super super excited um, I think it'll be really awesome and I will be able to give it pockets that way so that'll be fun so this is how the first um, item turned out it's the skirt I did um, paint all the patches on it um, most of them are band names I put a wingnut dishwashers union patch bratmobile Johnny Hobo AJJ cinema strange the Smiths anti flag but I also did just like some little um, designs uh, like witches unite a little ghost that says stay spooky 
Cats Against Cat Calls, Stay Weird with a Little Alien, Support Your Local Shelter with some paw prints, and Hex the Patriarchy with a pentagram. Um, I really like how it turned out. I did tighten it a little bit. You can see the before picture um, on the lower left corner, and I'm actually in the process right now of editing all the footage of painting the patches and putting it all together. Um, so there will be a part two to this video, um, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, and then, okay, this one, um, the men's section, like the men's t-shirt section, I feel like is the section that I always spend the most time in at the thrift store because the men's t-shirt section always has like the weirdest, funnest t-shirts and also like cool band t-shirts lots of times. And um, basically when I was feeling like I was growing out of like my punk and goth and rock phase, I um, had a gray Led Zeppelin t-shirt with a really cool design on it um, and I sold it on Depop for like 10 bucks and ever since then I've been like, eh. Like, I kind of wish I still had a Led Zeppelin t-shirt. And I found one today. And it has, um, like, the the band cover where it's, like, the picture of the hermit, which is also, like, a great tarot card. Um, so I was, because at first I was like, uh, like, Led Zeppelin's not, like, one of my favorite bands anymore. Like, do I really want it? And it's like, yeah, because it, even if not for that, the hermit design is super cool. And, um, it's, it's great that way. So it was $5.50. And super, super stoked on that. So for my Led Zeppelin t-shirt, I just added bleach. It wasn't that big of a project. Um, the top shoulder and like a little bit of the bottom, I added bleach with a spray bottle. And with the rest of it, I just splashed it on. I just used like household bleach from the dollar store, the grocery store, whatever, um, and rinsed it out really good. And I'm really happy with the final result. Then I found this, which just gave me lots of cool nostalgia vibes. It was $2.99, so basically $3. And it's a necklace with a little wolf head on it. Whoa. There we go. It's kind of like a goofy little wolf. I haven't mastered the art of how to show you guys things in the camera, so I'll probably have to insert pictures. But um, yeah, super fun. Um, I'm excited about that. Okay, this one is amazing. So, so excited about this because um, I have a super big thing for velvet dresses. I just, um, I feel like they were like a trend a while ago and a lot of places were like just pumping out velvet dresses. So lots of times at the thrift store you can find them in like really beautiful colors. So. Um, I had like a white silvery one that I sold on Depop a while ago and I was kind of like, eh, whatever. Um, but then I have a black one that I absolutely love and, um... Just waiting for the car to pass. Sweet angel. Beautiful girl. Light of my life. Can we film together, Bimba? I love to include her when I can. Um, and I know you guys love her too. And she knows that every time you guys leave me a sweet comment about um, our sweet girl Lemon here, I make sure to let her know. Right? Okay. Um, so, the next thing that I'm so, so, so freaking excited about, um, yeah, is the velvet dress. Um, so like I was saying, I have a black one that I really love. I had a white one, but I sold it on Depop a while ago. I don't have Depop anymore, but that was fun while it lasted. Um, and um, I have a purpley one that has like kind of a shift into gold that I got recently back from my parents' house. And I was like, oh, I miss this one. It was so cool. But I've never had a beautiful wine red one with this like amazing lace up kind of front part that feels very vampire-y. And I tried it on um, today and my boyfriend said it looked really cute. And the skirt like fluffs out in a really nice way, but not like a ton, just kind of like in a really delicate like, just like a pretty silhouette way where it feels kind of like a nightgown and I'm really excited to add black lace around the hem of it so that will be super cool and super fun so I'm excited about this one I ended up making the choker that I'm wearing too and I will be including that in the second part of this video um, but for the dress I added some metallic grommets to the um, Whole, like the corset top of it and I think that looks really nice and I did add the black lace at the bottom I just used some that I got at the thrift store in a really big bulk pack for about a dollar or two dollars and I think it looks really really lovely uh, the next thing I was I was like so stoked when I when I found this because it honestly feels like something that a cartoon goth girl would wear and I live for that energy and so it was two dollars uh, the original brand is who jeans and it says in the tackiest font and the tackiest words, I don't need your attitude, I have one of my own. And it just, I don't know. 
it gave me, <laughs> yeah, cartoon goth vibes, and I can get down with that. So I'm really excited to wear that to work um, at the Cat Cafe, because um, y'all know how it is. This one I didn't do much to. I just added a little bit of lace to the bottom, just like a white piece of lace from the thrift store. I think it looks pretty cute. Just a nice little detail. Next, this was super exciting. I found this in the, oh, okay, sorry. I didn't realize it was this one. I'm so, so, so freaking excited about this one. Okay, so basically, I hate filming on the street. Like, it's great. Like, I love my house. I love where I live. It's amazing. But, oh my God, if people and their like stupid motors on their motorcycles aren't so 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 annoying all right don't leave stay here um so basically this next thing um i just got like so so excited um when i saw it it's this t-shirt it was four dollars um it's a band shirt the band is no class um and at the bottom it says punks of family which I 100% agree with, and I love that message so much. And I was like, wow, like, I, I like these guys' look, like, I'm excited to check them out when I get home. And guess what? When I checked them out when I, when I got home, not only is their music really good, but they are local to a place that I used to go to school in. So how freaking cool is that? Um, they're from Vancouver. I didn't go to school in Vancouver, but I went to school really close by. And most of the music that I found of theirs on YouTube was like very like shaky, like iPhone kind of footage filmed, but they have a band camp. They are really good. I like them a lot. And now I have their t-shirt. And originally I was like, oh, if I don't like the band, like I'll just cut out the part that says punks family because I can get behind that but they're great too so how awesome love it really excited about this one so for my no class t-shirt I just added a bunch of shreds all over it um, I put them in the neck area on the back um, on the hip and like down the kind of leg because the shirt's really big on me up the sleeves and I was gonna add some safety pins but then I ran out so um, once I get some more you can definitely expect me to have some safety pins on that guy this one was exciting. I found this one in the men's t-shirt section as well. Um, it says Death Records and it has this bird on it, but the, which is like cool, whatever. But the, the reason that I got it and the part that I just found really cool, it says this place is possessed, which I don't know. They, just like wearing that as a t-shirt makes me think like this place, meaning like this body. Um, and that's, that's fun for me. Um, so I'm excited to wear this one to work as well because usually um, when I'm working I have to wear an apron. Um, so you would only be seeing the back anyway. And that's the main part that I like. So I might even like cut out the patch and then put it on the t-shirt. Um, put it on a t-shirt, like a plain t-shirt that I have perchance. We shall see. But either way, a great find. And it was $3.99. I don't know if I mentioned it yet. So with my Death Records shirt, I did pretty much the same as the Led Zeppelin shirt. Um, I just did regular bleach splatters though. Um, this one was pretty fun. Um, on the back, since the shower that I bleached it in was kind of wet while I was bleaching it, um, the bleach kind of made this almost like fire pattern and I think it looks really cool and really works with the theme of the shirt. So I was really happy about that. Okay, this one was pretty freaking cool. Um, this was the most expensive one um, and I was kind of going back and forth on it and I was like, ah, like $7.50 for a t-shirt, like blah, blah, blah. But then, you know, I was like, you know, I haven't gone through shopping in so long. It's It's been a freaking while and like YouTube's been going a while. So I decided to just go ahead and get it. Um, and it says, pour one out. It's got a little Grim Reaper. Love me some Grim Reaper Im imagery. Um, it says, last call co. Um, this is the back. This is the front. I just like it. It's it's a good one. I, I, a good black t-shirt is always a good thing. And so for this shirt, um, I've always wanted a pentagram top, um, so I decided to make this one into one. I just added some little jewelry loops um, in five spots of a shirt cutout piece that I did, and then strung a ribbon through it. It took me so many tries to get the ribbon in the correct configuration where like um, it would lie down flat, and then I also had to like sew it in place. But I think it looks really, really nice, and I'm excited to wear it out and about. Um, then I got, um, because I don't have any, like, sandals, like, all my sandals that I've had over the past few years are just, like, completely, like, the feet are coming apart and stuff, um, so I found these shoes 
that were $5.99. They are, they, like I found a bunch of different sandals, but these ones I thought like kind of look like Mary Janes when you put them on in a weird way. And they were the cheapest ones and they were also like the ones with a ankle strap, which for me is very handy dandy. Plus they have a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a heel. So, you know, that's fun. I might even like put some studs on it or something over the parts of, that says mobile um, or maybe across the toe. Oh, bows on the toes would be a really cute look. I will have to look into that one. Um, bow toes, whew, yes, exciting. And bows on the back or maybe like little charms on the back, like little bee, oh, okay. Wow, if people and their engines could knock it off, huh, Bimba? So for the shoes, I ended up adding just spikes around the toes and then some D-rings that I had collected um, from a while ago to the ankle straps, or the front straps. And then um, the part that I'm most excited about is that I added these little charms with like chains and um, crosses and safety pins on them around the ankle so that they like dangle down while I walk. <laughs> so that they dangle down while I walk. And I think it looks really, really cute and I'm excited about them. And this isn't really fashion related, but I figured I'd mention it. Um, I got some really beautiful yarn. Um, this one was $3 and this one was $5. Um, if you are used to going to fabric stores and like normal places to buy, like normal like retail places to buy yarn, um, like full price yarn is terribly expensive in my opinion. Um, however, most people, lots of people that do um, like fiber arts tend to buy a ton of yarn and then have it left over or like not finish it or like for whatever reason just like abandoned projects and then they donate their yarn to thrift stores and charity shops and things like that and then you can buy it for super huge discounts in like big bulk amounts so um yeah i really try not to buy any wool or yarn or really anything um that i don't have to at the thrift store um because at least in canada like thrift stores are the amount of products that are consistently pumped out in the mass consumer like society um, means that people are constantly getting rid of thrift stores at, at stuff getting rid of their stuff at thrift stores every day at to the point that thrift stores aren't really able to keep up with the amount of things that they're getting in they're constantly having to throw stuff out in the landfills anyway um, so you know thrift stores are a fundamentally good thing in my opinion over consumeristic like over mass market capitalism any day of the week Obviously, I would recommend not to go overboard in buying clothes that you don't need um, and like try to wear things, like try to buy things that you like and wear them until they're like fully done and then try to like recycle them or give them to someone else. Um, you know, basic responsible consumerism stuff because we all live in a hellhole and we all need to buy clothes and wear clothes <laughs> um, at the end of the day. So, you know, hopefully. I don't know, this was a weird long rant, but I, I like felt kind of weird and guilty buying clothes because I, I always do, um, but hopefully like modifying them will be super fun and can donate some of the t-shirts that I'm feeling kind of sick of and that just like don't really suit my style anymore um, or redo something with them that's fun. Oh my god, I can't get enough of her, you guys. Um, like talking about like clothes and reusing and stuff and for instance um, like this shirt that I'm wearing right now I think I got it when I was 16 years old um, at the thrift store I think it was originally from Urban Outfitters but I got it for a couple bucks um, it was just like this gray shirt with these holes in it and I embroidered this patch on it and then this patch I put on the back um, my parents got it for me when they went to Nepal and it's like a really beautiful lotus flower I believe maybe um, either way um, had it for a really long time, still love it, still wear it all the time, uh, but you know, it's cool also to update your wardrobe and get new things and try things out and it's part of life. So, uh, okay, either way, um, also got, yeah, yarn, and the thing that I am most excited about, that I was just like, holy cow, could not believe that I found it, could not believe my luck. This was like amazing. Cause um, for a while, I've really, really wanted a leopard print, 
like tight dress or something of the sort um but just like i've never been able to find it and all the leopard print stuff that i find i'm like no i actually hate leopard print because for a long time i've thought i've hated leopard print but then i see like people wearing it in punk outfits and i'm like oh that does look cool but then when i think about it on me i'm like no i don't like it because i just like don't really like like neutral fabrics and like brown colors and like or neutral colors and browns and like kind of just like beige and tans like in clothing it just like doesn't really appeal to me that much but i just like thought that like having like a little um zebra print dress would be so cool especially like with like a leather jacket or like one of my denim jackets or like just like some fishnets and stuff um so I've, i was looking really hard for the the the, the freaking <laughs> leopard print dress that i haven't found but what i did find was a million times better and suits me way more and i would feel like way more confident in if we're being like honest with ourselves and it's this 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 really cool in my opinion um plaid dress that i'm super excited to add a bunch of chains to a bunch of extra pieces of plaid to just a bunch of like weird patches and like just you know making it way more funky because i know that like some people look at this and are like that's a lumberjack costume dude but like no it's gonna be really freaking cool and really patched up and really colorful and i can't wait for you guys to see it um so yeah and last but not least for this guy i did end up making the choker on him um i just made it out of some old jump rings that i had around and some chain and a piece of ribbon i'm wearing the dress with some um I'm wearing the dress with some tights that I cut up, and I think it looks cool and spiderwebby. And I ended up adding all these different patches from other plaid skirts I had to make it more of a um, like patch plaid situation. I also hand painted all these patches. Um, they say stuff like protect trans kids, clothing has no gender. Um, queer liberation not rainbow capitalism and a they them patch. I also like DIY'd all these chains and stuff, but I'm gonna get the ones from my parents house and um, put those on and it'll be much better so I'm excited about that I have a lot of sewing projects ahead of me I'll keep you guys updated if I don't like get around to all of them in this video I'll definitely try to film the process of them maybe for my channel if that's something you'd like to see please 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 let me know um, but otherwise me and lemon and also tuna who literally hasn't joined me in a video for so long like I want you guys to know that she's still alive and she's doing great she just is a little camera shy I guess um, but I want you guys to know that um, we're thinking of you um, <laughs> I hope you're having a really good night I hope you're treating yourself well um, I hope you can treat yourself to something nice that you like um, soon because you deserve it and you deserve kindness you deserve to be kind to yourself and um, yeah you deserve to give yourself a hug right now so I hope you have an awesome rest of your day or night whatever it is right now um, I'm sending you a big hug and so is Lemon. So have a good one and thanks for watching. Bye!